Hi there. Welcome back to our channel. Today's session is on VSAM interview questions. Please do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. Let's get started with introduction to VSAM. The term VSAM stands for Virtual Storage Access Method. In the early 1970s, Virtual Storage Access Method, VSAM, was introduced by IBM. As a collection of three data set organizations, that is, sequential, indexed, and direct access. These organizations are combined with access method software and utilities used on IBM mainframe. VSAM is a method used to move data between disk and main storage, and it operates in virtual environment. VSAM is applies to both a file type and the access method used to manage various user files. As an access method, VSAM provides much more complex functions than other data access methods. VSAM keeps disk records in a unique format that is not understandable by other access methods. VSAM datasets are held in control intervals, CI, and control areas, CA. The size of the CI and CA is normally determined by the access method, and the way in which they are used is not visible to the user. Virtual storage access method can be found on almost every mainframe out there, and yet, in some cases it is hardly used. But, in other cases, there are full-featured mission-critical applications based on vSAM. Now, let's get started with Top 20 vSAM Interview Questions. What are the different types of vSAM datasets? The following are the different category of vSAM datasets. Entry Sequence Datasets, ESDS. Key Sequence Datasets, KSDS. Relative Record Dataset, RRDS. Linear Dataset, LDS. Why do vSAM take more disk space than other utilities? vSAM increases the disk space requirements of systems. This is because vSAM offers certain capabilities like partial self-reorganization to make things more efficient in datasets. What are the distinctive features of a KSDS, key sequence dataset? The index and the distributed free space. Control interval, CI, and control area, CA, splits upon updates. Record length may be changed during update. The records are accessed by a particular key. How are records stored in an entry sequence dataset, ESDS? In entry sequence dataset, ESDS, the records are stored in the order in which they were entered. vSAM entry sequence datasets are equivalent to QSAM sequential files. The order of the records is fixed. What's a LDS, linear dataset, and what's it used for? LDS is a vSAM dataset in name only. It has unstructured fixed size CIs, that is, 4096 bytes, which do not contain control fields. There is no free space and no access from COBOL. LDS is essentially a table of data maintained on disk. The table entries must be created via a user program and can only be logically accessed via a user program. When passed, the entire LDS must be mapped into storage, then data is accessed via base and displacement type processing. In ESDS, do we have the facility of accessing the records randomly? Yes, random access of records is possible. Records, however, cannot be deleted. We can do it by referring the RBA, relative byte address. Why is the space is kept in data component of the KSDS dataset? Free space specified during the allocation of the KSDS is left at regular intervals during the initial load of the data set. This space helps keep the data component in physical sequence in spite of random insertions. What are the distinctive features of a KSDS, key sequence dataset? The index and the distributed free space. Control interval, CI, and control area, CA, splits upon updates. Record length may be changed during update. The records are accessed by a particular key. What is the difference between the ESDS and KSDS? ESDS doesn't have embedded free space. The keys parameter has no meaning in the context of ESDS. ESDS has no index component. 
An additional parameter, non-indexed, is used to tell AMS that an ESDS is being allocated. How is LDS different from ESDS? An LDS is a data set, very similar to an ESDS without the control information. It has no records and used for fast random access. It takes advantages of the computer's very fast paging hardware for retrieval and storage. The bytes are implicitly divided into 4K blocks or pages, and the paging hardware reads and writes blocks from disk. There is no free space and used space control field in LDS. What is a control interval CI? A control interval is the unit of information that vSAM transfers between virtual and auxiliary storage. What is control interval split? A new record stored in same CI, only if there is enough space. If not, then vSAM locates the free CI within the same CA, moves approximately half of the records to next CI, and stores the new record at the correct position. This is called control interval split. Whenever CI split occurs, the sequence set is updated. What is a vSAM split? If there isn't enough space in the control interval, vSAM performs a control interval split by moving some records to the free control intervals. If there isn't a free control interval, vSAM performs a control area split by allocating a new control area and moving half of the control intervals to it. Why CI and CA splits are not possible in ESDS and RRDS? In ESDS, the new record is added at the end of last record. And no embedded free space is allocated at the time of dataset definition. In the case of RRDS, the slots for the records are pre-allocated, and so the CI and CA split is not possible. What is the verify command in the vSAM files? This command is used to close those files that are kept open after the abnormal termination of the file. It also brings the index component in sync with the data components and updates the catalog. Can AIX be defined over an ESDS, which does not have any key? Although an ESDS does not have a primary key, an AIX can be defined over an ESDS. In the case of an ESDS, it is the relative byte address of the corresponding record in the base cluster that is stored. What is recovery and speed parameters in define cluster command? Recovery, default, and speed are mutually exclusive. Recovery preformats the control areas during the initial dataset load. If the job fails, you can restart, but you must have a recovery routine. Already written to restart the job. Speed does not preformat the CAs. It is recommended that you specify speed to speed up your initial data load. Is it slower if you access a record through alternative index as compared to primary index? Yes, because the alternate key would first locate the primary key, which in turn locates the actual record. Needs twice the number of IOs. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do share your feedback and hit like button. Please do visit our channel for more such tutorial video on COBOL, CICS, JCL, VSAM.